Hey, Ryan from Boast here. Let's take a look at doing a Zapier integration with something like Dropbox. So with Boast, we have a handful of Zapier templates that are available for you to integrate with, say, Stripe, FreshBooks. We've got a Google Drive one, um, QuickBooks. There's a couple that we've pre-created so that when you go to connect it up or start it, it will pre-fill 90% of the information you need in there for you. But the point of Zapier is that you can connect just about any system together. So we're gonna go and look at one today that isn't pre-made for you. So this is more of just a general Zapier tutorial to help you out. So we're gonna go connect to this app. So what I wanna do is when content is published in Boast, I wanna put a copy of that video over in my Dropbox. So we're gonna go with Boast. We want to connect that with Dropbox. And then we need to configure what's going to happen. So when a response is published, so it's been submitted, we reviewed it, we've published it, what do we want to do at Dropbox? We want to move that file or upload a file. I don't know. I haven't done the Dropbox one before. So let's try this. So it's going to kind of come over to the Zap Builder after we start it. Yeah, upload a file sounds right. Copy file sounds like inside of Dropbox, we're going to move a file from one place to the other. So with integrating with any of these systems, they're going to expose a handful of things that can happen, and Bose is going to expose a handful of things that can happen. So a common thing for us is when a response is published, or one of the things that we do a lot is from other systems, when something's created, we enroll that person in a sequence. All right, so Boast account. So I'm already logged in. I already have my Zapier account. Um, I have already authenticated with Boast. Typically when I click this, it's gonna say, hey, authenticate with Boast. You click it, you give them permission to your account. So I've already kind of I've did that step. So we're not seeing that. We'll probably see it with Dropbox yet since I have not done that one. All right, so I'm saying that's the Boast account I wanna use. Yep, that's my user, that looks great. What's next? Now it's gonna say, hey, that Boast user, what accounts does that have access into Boast? So my user, Ryan, can get to a handful of Boast accounts. We're going to be using the fake home sales account. And then what form? So if they fill out, yeah, I've got a lot of test data in here, huh? If they fill out the realtor evaluation form, once they fill out the realtor evaluation form, and I go market published, shoot that video over into Dropbox. Next step, okay, guess we can test that. All right, looks like the test is good. Okay, what do we wanna do? Over at Dropbox, we wanna upload a file, 100%. That's what we want to do. We have to sign into Dropbox. So when we click sign in here, so in another tab, no, I'm not signed into Dropbox yet. Okay, so we'll see the whole flow here. This will pop up. I need to now authenticate with Dropbox. Oh, okay, no, I am signed in. <laughs> so all that means is in another tab, I have already authenticated with Dropbox. Otherwise, it's gonna ask me for my username and password and log in here. But since I'm already logged in, I just need to allow Zapier to connect. So I logged in so you didn't have to watch me type in my username and password. Continue. That looks good. Okay, so I can select which folder I want to put this in. I have already created a folder called, called Boast Videos, but nothing's in it yet. So I'm going to select Boast Videos. There it is, Boast Videos. Okay, must be a file object. Click in here. So now what this is showing me is 
we're pushing a file into Dropbox from Boast when a response is published. So in Zapier, it's seeing all of the fields that Boast has in a response. So we want to go through here and find the video. So here it is, the video URL. Boom. So that tells Dropbox that this is the video. Uh, a different service that we were connecting to, maybe there would be fields there for first name, last name, email, different things. But all we've got for this particular case or what we want to do is we want a file, so we need to grab the file that's shown in the response. So now we've connected that. Overwrite it. Sure. That way if we like change it and we republish it, let's overwrite it. All right, specify the file name. So these files are named very uniquely. So what you might want to do is give it a better name. So I might want to name it after the first name, dash, last name. So this just shows some things in here, but this is example data. So first name, dash, last name. Um, and we'll just leave it at that. That's not extremely unique. Um, you might want to add something else in there, such as, yeah, let's just go ahead and make sure it's 100% unique. If, if a John Doe and a John Doe submits, it's going to smash over it. So we're just going to include the ID there too. It's going to make the, the file a little long, but that's okay. All right, so we need to specify an extension. All these videos come in as mp4s so we can do that oops mp4 continue all right all right testing continue and then we should have this ready to go shortly exciting so that's the real uh that's the real beauty of Zapier is that you really can connect any systems. Some of the questions might be a little tricky, but there's always like a little helper text or something like that. All right, my Zap is ready to go. Okay, so that's how you configure the Zap. And now if somebody fills out that form and publishes the response, it'll be in my Dropbox. But hey, Let's go try it out. Okay, back over into Boast here. We specifically did the retail evaluation form. So I can go in and look at all my forms in here. Oh boy. Retail evaluation form, got a share option. You can click on that. There's this, so I'm just going to preview it. There's my form. All right, let's fill it out. Jacob McTester. That's why there's all kinds of weird names in my accounts. I just always playing around with this thing all day, every day. So I'm gonna have to put an email in here. So I'm just gonna do Ryan plus Jacob McTester at boast.io. And as always, you guys can always email me at ryan at boast.io if you've got some questions, thoughts, ideas, or chat with us at boast.io. Description, best company ever. And now we can record from camera. This is always a fun experiment because I'm recording for my camera and then I'm gonna record here. So let's think my camera might stop working and you might not see me again until we're done. Let's give it a shot. Allow it. I don't know if this is recording to both places. Hey, it's Ryan here. I'm doing a short video to show this go to Dropbox once it's reviewed and published.
All right, now that that test is submitted, let's go back to Boast, close this. It should be in our responses now. Jacob McTester, here it is. Cool, looks good. So I can obviously edit it and check it out or I can just publish it. I'm just gonna publish it. Okay, at that point right there, Boast publishes this and then that gets notified to Zapier, and then Zapier pushes the file or does the connection to push it over to Dropbox. Sometimes, depending on the service, this could take three to five minutes. So the next thing to do to test this is just to look at my Dropbox now. There it is, it's in my Dropbox. This one was my test that uh, going through the process, it found one of my Boast responses and pushed it through as a test. And here's my Jacob McTest video that came in from the uh, Dropbox integration. Pretty cool.